Hi guys, Dan here from Reptile Encounters. Now on September 7th we celebrate National Threatened Species Day. And so we've decided that during this week we're going to show you a whole bunch of our threatened and endangered species that we have here at Reptile Encounters. These guys here might just look like little mice, and they do get called marsupial mice, but they're not. These are cinnamon and spice, and they are fat-tailed dunnards. Now even though they do look a little bit like a rodent, they're actually a marsupial. They're called a dasyurid which means they're related to things like the Tassie Devil and the Quoll, which are obviously a lot bigger. But they do have a little pouch, and they are little carnivores. They like to eat mostly insects and spiders, but they'll also eat frogs, little lizards, and they'll even prey on actual mice, which are almost the same size as them. Even though they're not very big, they are a terrifying predator of the Victorian grasslands. Now, unfortunately, they're considered near-threatened here in Victoria, which is really sad because in other parts of the country, they're actually still considered common. The biggest threat to these guys in Victoria is habitat loss. Traditionally, they would have been found on native grasslands west of the Hume Highway. They can even be found in some quite dry and arid places as well. They are tough little creatures. We've got less than 1% of those native grasslands left in Victoria. So not only are these guys now a threatened species here, but things like the Plains Wanderer and the Striped Legless Lizard, who shared those habitats, are endangered. Now, introduced species are another huge problem. Things like rabbits eat a lot of the grass in these grasslands. And when the grass is all gone and the habitat's depleted, the insects haven't got anywhere to live and breed and anything to eat. And so they either die or move on. You lose those little insects and all of a sudden things like the fat-tailed dunnart don't have anything to eat and they go too. It's also pretty easy to see these guys would be a meal for things like feral cats and foxes. Even pet cats can be a massive problem for fat-tailed dunnards because some of these last remnant patches of native grasslands in places like Craigieburn and Derriman are pretty much surrounded on all sides by housing and industrial estates. So cats going for a wander onto these reserves are going to decimate what few dunnards we've got left. Now we've got a number of fat-tailed dunnards here at Reptile Encounters and they come and visit shopping centres, especially on school holidays when we host our wild holiday programs where you can come up close and personal with a whole bunch of different native species in displays and as part of our shows. So to keep up to date with where we're going to be and what we're doing, keep an eye on our Facebook page.